I remember Let's when I'm trying to think. I don't know if you said it on a, a, a radio show or a TV show about your dating prowess. You was with one man, two men, three men, four men over the course of a 24-hour, 48-hour span. <laughs> Did you think about the ramifications of how people, men, women, everybody, would look at you because, or does that not bother you? Or you learn to tune that out. So you're referring to one instance. Or I can actually recall it, pinpoint it perfect for you. There was a video that I did in my car where I was talking about how I had sex with, was it three men in a, a day? Yes. And then I ended up getting a yeast, yeast infection. infection. Yes. That was, I came out pretty unscathed for just the yeast infection. Right. Considering what I could have gotten. Right. Um, it wasn't that, you know, well, oh man, I hope people don't. You kid out of it. I mean, they talk oh, about. I was, I was, I, I was on birth control for 10 years before I had my son. I got off of it because there was a conversation with my child's father. Okay. So I, I, again, the whole trapping thing, can't trap the welling babe. And on top of that, I never wanted to have a, I looked at kids as you never wanted a baby. Be a, you never wanted a baby daddy, you wanted to be a mom. You didn't want to yes. be a baby mama, you wanted to be a and wife. that's why I waited so long. I had my baby when I was 29. I thought I was doing it right. I thought that was my guy. And I, I never really liked kids. I always thought I referred to them as crotch goblins, to be honest. <laughs> You know, but as I got older, I wanted one. But, but did you? But did but did you think? Did I think about the ramifications yes. of telling people that I had sex with multiple men? Yes, I don't care. It's the truth. If you don't, if you don't see me as a potential dating person, then great, one less heart to break. Leave me alone, and I'm going to continue to live but my you, truth. But, but you do understand, Brittany. That's hard for a man. Look, like you said, public versus private. Now, if you and I having a conversation, and we're you're sitting here, we have a conversation, and you say, "Well, Shannon." I slept with this many men. Okay, that's one thing. That's between you and I. But to have that conversation and then everybody, Sam, John, and everybody else knows it, that's a whole different, that's a whole different, that's a whole different ball game, Brittany. That's fine with me. I mean, I feel that. But way. see, th that's selfish because all you're thinking about is you. What about him? He has got to be with you. He has got to be with me? No, what I'm the, saying. He has the privilege to be with me. <laughs> okay. Because you know how many women you've slept with? Brent. Do you know how many women no, you slept with? I'm yes the, or no? I'm doing the interview. Do you know how many women you slept yes. with? Yes. Double digits? Triple digits. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Sitting back in this position. Brittany. Double or triple? Brittany, I'm the interviewer. Are you at the interview? I can't ask any questions? You can ask questions. Okay, so how, when when how you have you? your podcast, invite me on and you and I have this conversation, okay? Now, back to our originally normal scheduled program. <laughs> you do understand that a man pride is woman to not look I don't, I don't have any pro, i don't have any problem you know three bodies four bodies five bodies ten bodies that that, that what you did before me long as you i mean I mean, you know i'm pretty i'm pretty lenient because i've kind of you know lawyers uh, uh doctors uh exotic dancers yeah so you you love what you know you love what you love wow but okay. But it, it, it's a it's a it's a hard, it's a a high bar to hurdle if she makes things that she's done public. You, I think you understand what I'm saying. I believe that the average person is below average, so the average man is most likely not going to. But you're not going to be interested I, in no average man. You like I, what you like. But can Stop I stop it? And I never I never argued with you on that. <laughs> what you didn't let me finish my thought. Go ahead. Let me. Okay. And then, okay. and then we, right. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that the average guy would tell you that I'm not wife material. That's fine because I don't want to be with the average man. The man that I want is someone who is understanding of that. And if that's asking for too much from the male species, then I, I must be better off alone then. I don't think I'm asking for the impossible. You literally just said that exotic dancers, lawyers, whoever, you love who you love. Right. Who you're drawn to is who, who you're right. drawn to. The average person is not gonna want to make that make that jump, and that's okay. Cause I'm not talking to them. I don't need anybody average. I'm not average. There's nothing about my mentality that's average. I don't carry myself as average. I don't look average. I'm not mundane and forgettable. Just like these are the I, I stand for something. I get so much flack because there's this little box, and people want me to just like suck, it, shut up, whoa, make whoa, an OnlyFans. Let me finish though. They want me to go over here and just admit that I'm a gold digger, that I trap guys, and that I only care about money, but because I go so hard about true love, it's a mother problem. 
but you can understand that you say because I like sex like whoa. you whoa Brit Brit because I like sex Brit. because I'm curious we're mic'd up and we got boom mic. I don't got give the mic. La, 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 la. I don't care but I'm saying you can understand why people will find that hard about true love because they're looking at it true love is not what you look but what you're saying what you're selling doesn't seem what, like what true am love I selling today. what am I selling well I mean when you go on and you in your car and you say well I had sex with three men that was a, back in 2018 okay, okay, okay. by the way Go ahead. Sorry, I mean interrupt. No man, no woman can outrun their past because all it does is makes you tired when it catches up with you. So what you did in 2018, people still know about it in 2023. So this notion that you say, well, it happened five years ago. It happened 10 years ago. People have what they call the internet. People have what they call memory. Mm. Good. <laughs> Don't ever forget it. Just know when you tried this, yeah. It ain't oh. even about that. No, honestly though, I don't want people to forget. I don't want my. I don't. I don't believe you can delete your wholeness. I don't want to. I don't. I wouldn't trade. Like I would not want a clean slate today, because you know why? This whole journey for me has been learning. Yes. So if I'm judged for the way that I learned then so be it. I don't need you guys to forget anything. I don't want you to, quite frankly, keep bringing it up, keep talking about it. Because there's so many people that are so curious about me in private, but right. they don't have the balls to try it in public. And that's fine. You're not for me. I don't need a guy that's gonna keep my record of wrongs. I thought that's what the Bible said. That's y'all's favorite little. I don't, I'm just saying, I don't judge. I'm not here. Don't to keep no record of wrong. No, but I'm saying, look. Don't fault me for doing the best I could with the awareness I had. Right. So if a man doesn't understand that, because you just said a few minutes ago. Yes. A man can make that jump. Will he most likely? Probably not. Right. But guess what? Who's for but me? He's not for this. Let me finish. Okay. Who's for me? Yes. Who God, creator, source, universe, whatever you want to call it who God designed for me, none of that matters. So I don't care about all these people yapping about what I'm not gonna get, because if I wasn't gonna get it, it wouldn't be on my heart. If I wasn't gonna get it, I would not have been, I would not be experiencing the dark side of this coin. And that's why the world will bear witness to true love. <laughs> and they will become my footstool. And they will have to see this woman, this is my, this is my whole mission statement. Okay. I'm going to tell the truth and still get everything I want. And they're going to watch me. I don't have to play by your guys' rules. I do my way. You do things your way. Mm -hmm. And, that, and it, honestly, it varies hour to hour. Are, I didn't know who I was going to be when I came into this interview. Are you OK with the way it's played out thus far? Absolutely. I'm at peace with it. There's nothing I could have done differently. I'm not oh, there's a lot you could have done differently. Stop saying that there's nothing you could have done differently. Stop it. This is the way I was meant to do it. I don't question fate. I don't question. I accept my fate. I accept my destiny. So if that means that it takes me 10 years for my Mr. Wonderful to come, then that's fine. I'm patient. Nothing. You wouldn't change a thing about the way it's transpired. No. For what? Because if... Here's the thing about regret. If mm -hmm. I regret things that happened, then that means I have to erase the awareness that I gained. And I would not trade this awareness. I would not trade going back to when I was 20, 18 years old. I would not trade a clean slate for the wisdom that I have. I have a well of wisdom. That's why when I speak, people are captivated. Why I've been called to so many different platforms. Who's the last couple guests you've had on here? Uh, Stephen A, D Wade, Tabitha Brown, um, who else we had, CJ? Um, Ocho Cinco. I saw Chris Brown. We had Ricky Smiley. Okay, what's what's one thing you think they all have in common? They're, They're great at what they do. Yes. You great so at where what, do I fit in? You great at what I'm just supposed to be some Instagram thought, but here I am talking to Shannon Sharp. So you so You gotta you, listen to me! So you great at what you do? I certainly am. Because there's a lot of beautiful women. There's a lot of beautiful women that have better bodies than me, prettier faces, whatever type of features you think are attractive. But then you have little petite old me who just can't stop and shut up. Oh my God. And here I am on Club Shake Shake, Club Shake Shake, Club Shake Shake. Woo!